There are a couple things that make me a little different than the ordinary guy. First, I won a silver medal for Team USA in rugby at the Rio 2016 Paralympics. And second, I did it from a wheelchair. I was 13 years old, the quarterback on my middle school football team, and the biggest struggle in my life was turning my homework in on time. Then, on my way home from a football game, a car accident broke my neck and changed my life forever. Here we go. Switch, 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 switch. Good switch. What I like most about wheelchair rugby is that it's a full contact sport. James. It might sound crazy, but I play defense, so it's my job to smash into other players to keep them from scoring. It's incredibly physical, and it can hurt. I love it. When I talk to groups, my message changes, depending on the audience, of course. But I want people to see that they are capable of far more than they believe. Do you feel sorry for yourself? Do I feel sorry for myself? That's, a, that's actually a good question. One thing that I say is, you know, I, I don't think I ever would have gotten to the Olympics in any able-bodied sport. So the fact that, that I broke my neck actually allowed me to, to participate in the Paralympics. So now I don't feel sorry for myself. During my recovery, I met someone who believed in me. Believed I was capable of being a Paralympic athlete. He really helped me realize that mental and emotional limitations, not physical ability, are life's biggest challenges. What do you believe about yourself? What voice do you listen to? And, and, and who wrote the script your life is following? Rugby gives me the chance to be an athlete again. I've put in the effort required to perform at the highest level of competition. And it's paid off. I'm now a Paralympic silver medalist. I want others to see me, hear my story, and remember that a guy who can't move his legs can become a world-class athlete. How? Because he believed he could. What do you think?